subscribe to my OnlyFans and start posting my videos on your page. Nope. Okay, so Cheryl is at it again, and I've been missing out, okay? So I'm going to do a little bit of reaction. And look, I'm just going to tell you guys, this Danny and Sh uh, Cheryl thing needs to be studied. There needs to be a deep dive video on this. And honestly, I looked a little bit, and I could not find anything. It sucks. So I'm going to try it again. But I would appreciate it if you could send me a lead. I'm not asking you to do my work. I'm asking you to send me one piece of lead. That's it. Like a receipt something because the receipts that was on Danny's um, post got deleted and that already is suspect to me okay but Danny sounds very convincing I'm just gonna keep it real she sounds very convincing so I'm like she must not be a scammer because I haven't seen any deep dives I've just seen something that's been deleted so I really want to go deep deep but you guys need to send me a lead. You guys know I've been exposing scammers and been really, really good at laying it all out and how it works. But I need a lead. Okay? So let's watch what Cheryl has to say. Your spot. Then I ate, huh? Then I ate. I mean, you watched my video. Yeah, I, I got you, bitch. I'm handling things the right way. So when you do approach me, whatever happens, happens. And I translate that to, if you ever catch me slipping in the streets and you come beep, beep, Either me or whoever is with me gonna have the opportunity to up that file on you. I live life on the edge. I'm not scared about a fuck. I okay, guess, look, you, Cheryl, you really need to like. I'm concerned for Cheryl. You feel me? I feel like Danny's gonna. It's Texas. Danny's gonna pull out a weapon and log you off. You know what I'm saying? I really would not want that to happen for Cheryl. I really don't. Like, it's just sad if that was to happen. You have kids, you have people that love you. I don't know. Hey, bitch, when I see you, I'm gonna see you. It's never gonna die down. I promise. Please believe I don't have a scare bone in my body, but unlike you, I have a lot to lose, and I got people depending on me. Who? Who depending on you? Because your mama down there struggling with your kids, you tell me you're gonna take my kids, but you don't even have your own. You housed a nigga before you brought your kids to Texas to live with you. Make that make sense. I've never seen someone with that much time on their hands. It's Is there people that? It's giving pretty much obsessed. Yes, the moment you crossed the lines with my kids, I became obsessed with you. My ultimate goal right now is to bring your empire all the way down. And right now, my track record is better than the FBI. I'm at 100%. You on here. If I lose you, I'm down to 50%. And I'll be damned if I ever, ever. I'll continue to pray for you because... And look, I understand when people cross that line and they try to take your kids away. I Look, I don't have kids, but I've had someone find out who my uh, parents were and they were harassing my mom, right? And they said, I'm going to keep harassing your mom until you commit some shit. triggered me, bro, to the bone. Oh, whoa, okay. I'm thinking, do I need to fly to this country? Legit. That's, no one has ever got me to that level of anger before. I was like, okay, do I need to go to this country and beat this person up? Because the police ain't doing shit. Like, what do I do? You feel me? And it just, it got me to a stage that now if someone did it, it's not going to really affect me. My parents know what's up. And actually, when I told my parents, they were laughing. And I was like, oh. Because if they felt some type of way, you best believe I'm flying over there for my family, for mine. So I completely get it. But you got to understand these narcissistical people do certain things to get you like that and bring you out of character so they can win. By you um, getting letting your emotions out that way, they have control over you. And Shelly might not realize it. But Danny has control over you, the fact that you want to go over there and whoop her. And I completely get it why. You know, I'm not, I understand. I'm coming from a, a, a place of understanding. It, it, it sucks being in that position and just, because who wouldn't, you know? If it was your grandma, your mom, someone said something was weird like that, you just want to, you just want to backhand them. Like Jesus, now if I saw the person now, I would just give them a little slap. Before, I would have done so much more. Now, I just would be like, pow, that's it. And then walk away. 
I feel satisfied. You need to be on top and you need to win. And I think exposing her and laying everything out is really good. I really suggest you should do another video, laying all the receipts out, everything, and uploading that. Because once you do that, the TikToks are great, but no one really understands until you show every little thing, receipts and stuff. And I'm more than happy to do that. I just need a lead. Where's my lead? Please go to the real Martin Lewis on Instagram and give me a lead. Let's continue. Because you need it. Just admit that you was paid one k to lie on me. It's not my fault your lies are unraveling. What lies? What lies? Mm. Everything I've been posting are about you. What lies? Because if everybody's looking at the same shit that I'm looking at, everything I'm posting and everything that you posted to try and counteract it, you went and deleted it. So if anything, people are thinking you're the liar. You're the scammer. Nobody told you to go and take these people tax returns. Nobody told you to have a credit business and you running off and getting shit in your clients' names. Nobody told you to have your platform calling CPS on me. Nobody told you to go and subscribe. And that's true. She showed proof of that. That's in the next, um, that's in the other video. Subscribe to my OnlyFans and start posting my videos on your page. Nope. Sue her. Bro, she just posted your OnlyFans? Okay, let's say your OnlyFans is $15 a month. And she got... How many followers she has? 1K? 100K? Let's say she had 50K. $15 times 50. What's that? Insert it there. Because I don't know. <laughs> it's a lot of money. I will sue her. Why are you not doing that? Is it the money? I don't know. Maybe it's a lot of money to get a lawyer and do all that. But shoot, someone did that to me. I'm suing. Free money, baby. Nobody told you to get on the internet flexing in front of the same people you took from as if you was getting this shit out the mud and doing it legitimately. You really thought you was going to pop back out. You really thought you was going to pop back out with Corey and nobody was going to say anything? You should have known I was going to say something. <laughs> How did you think you was going to get on TikTok and just not have me run across you? How did you even think that? You knew what you was doing and you thought you was slick. You thought you was going to get away with it. But you didn't realize that I'm the person. I will hold on to the shit from when Jesus was born. And I will present that shit next year if I need to. To prove my nigga innocence. Just in case they try to try him. Bad reference. I don't think Johnny has really anything to prove her innocence because there's no video that I've seen with everything receipts and proof it's just been word of mouth that's all it's been I haven't seen nobody with receipts nobody is with evidence again send me a lead if she's scammed that's what you need to do and then she'll be able to defend herself and be like okay well this is this that is that and if she doesn't do that then you know something's up but I don't give a fuck. I'm not that girl that you think you're going to issue this weird ass white flag and think all this shit about to die down. No, ma'am. Them FBI reports have been submitted. Those whistleblower forms have been submitted. All them emails to every peach cobbler factory in the United States has been submitted. Every person that owns a peach cobbler factory that I found on LinkedIn, I've sent them an email. I've messaged Greg on Facebook. Other people have messaged and sent. How, how long do you think you're going to be able to continue doing what you're doing and get away with it? You're not. I don't think the company's going to care since she's extending it. I honestly don't think they're going to be care if she is a scammer. I'm just keeping it 100. You're not. Remember, a guilty conscience are doing guilty things. Such as deleting shit off their mm -hmm. page, trying to clean it up, trying to hide. Mm -hmm. But a person is... That's already enough for me to go ding, 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 red flag. Why are you deleting the posts? The person shared screenshots. Why are you deleting it? But if you go to the judge, a court, and say, well, she deleted this. Like, that isn't enough. We need solid evidence. I need receipts. I need leads. Again, I would love to do a deep documentary style type of video on this because I'm telling you, this needs to be studied, and I'm the one to do it. Send me a lead. Let's continue. Telling the truth, they got a legitimate reputation to uphold, some shit that they really got to protect, you would have been had me in court. If you had any type of offense, 
Mm. You would have been had me in court. That's a good point. Shit would have been shut down. You could have been got a gag order. You could have been had me. Come on, bro. Your money don't move like people with real money. <laughs> Ashley had the the decency to take me to court to try and get me to shut up. She lost. But you get what I'm saying? People with money, y'all supposed to move a little different. Okay, I heard a little bit about this Ashley woman, right? Apparently, she does the same thing as. <sighs> Lazy Eyelid, I forgot her name. She does the same thing as her. <laughs> like selling workshops or something, apparently. I'm not too sure. Again, this is another deep dive, but I know it kind of it stemmed from there. You don't. You move just like me. A motherfucker out here with what? Nowhere near a million dollars. But I'm at peace. I'm at peace because I'm true to myself. You'll never be at peace because you constantly running. You're running. You're running. You've been in six different houses over the course of four years. And you're going to say it's because you got money and that's what you can do? That's fine. You can. You running because people finding out where you are and they coming and they seeing about that. Ooh. That's what it is. Mark my word, y'all. She not going to be in that mansion for long. But if this <laughs> is your way of waving the white flag, I'm a bully to the end of time. I promise when it come to mind. I'm going to die down. I ain't going to say I'm going to stop because I'm going to remind you every now and then that I'm on your ass, Danny boy. I am. Mm-hmm. You can't hide from the Peach Cobbler Factory forever. You can't. Unless, you know, they pull the partnership contract. Oops. <laughs> 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 I create the contracts. You don't. Greg create them. Okay, guys. That's all I'm going to put for this. Because I would love you guys to send me a lead. But I am going to watch the other ones that she posted. But I'm going to add more commentary, not a reaction. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Smash that like button. And I'll see you guys in another drama video.